Anger is growing against a Pakistani over the jailing of a doctor who helped the CIA find Osama bin Laden. On Thursday, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton called it unjust and unwarranted to send Dr. Shaquille Afridi to prison. Nancy Cordes has more reaction this morning from Capitol Hill. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Erica and Charlie. And the outrage over this is bipartisan. The Senate Appropriations Committee voted unanimously, 30 to 0, to cut Pakistan aid by $33 million. That's $1 million for every year in Dr. Afridi's sentence. Secretary Clinton condemned Dr. Afridi's sentencing Thursday, saying he didn't betray Pakistan in any way. His help, after all, was instrumental in taking down one of the world's most notorious murderers. Pakistani authorities charged Afridi with treason for reportedly setting up a fake vaccination program designed to collect DNA evidence from bin Laden's compound before last year's raid. On Capitol Hill, senators lashed out at Pakistan. To somehow uh, allege that under any country's law, that this doctor violated any law is, of course, just beyond ludicrous. It's outrageous. The $33 million in foreign aid senators voted to cut is a tiny fraction of the $1 billion Pakistan is set to get from the U.S. in 2013. But even that $1 billion is less than half of what President Obama had asked for. Now the Senate Armed Services Committee is proposing to withhold some funds for Pakistan until the country proves it is not supporting militant extremist groups and reopens NATO supply routes to neighboring Afghanistan. Pakistan's nuclear capacity and strategic location make it an important, if unreliable, ally. Not only was bin Laden found there, but his deputy, Ayman al-Zawahiri, is suspected of hiding out there, too. President Obama acknowledged the strain between the two nations earlier this week. We need to work through some of the tensions that uh, have inevitably uh, arisen after 10 years uh, of our military presence uh, in that region. But senators were less diplomatic yesterday. They accused Pakistan of mafia-like extortion for trying to charge NATO $5,000 per truck to use its supply routes when last year the rate was $250 per truck. Nancy, Charlie thank Marga. you.